lots of hipping happening, guys. Zach's back. Kick back, relax as we jump back into Solar Light and Lunar Dark for another episode. In the last episode, we explored around Rassic City, talked to some people in that place, the ancient museum, something or other. Don't walk into me. Don't walk into me, Carmen San Diego. And from what I remember, we have to go up here and challenge uh, Lizzie. That's that's her name. I wanted to call her Claire because there's a lady in here saying that she's related to Claire. They both use dragons and whatnot. But what we have to do is I'm supposing walk in here fight some dragon types and it froze because I clicked out I apologize this I believe is fairy dragon type I saw this a long time ago thought it was really cool probably shouldn't be in here with Zabuza to be fair yeah this is gonna hurt yep yeah, that hurt my attack fell, but that's okay. Another Aqua Tail will take out the Faily. Pretty awesome. I was... I did a little bit of grinding. And to get Boo leveled up, because it's part Fairy type. But still nowhere near the correct level. Wingon's coming out. I will switch out. It's at 36. It's getting there, but not quite. Now, these things are higher level than half my Pokemon, which is crazy. We haven't experienced that for the whole game. Really? At least that's still doing decent damage. The Aerial Ace shouldn't do too much to me. I lied. It did a shit ton, apparently. Go for the Flamethrower again. Hopefully get the burn. No burn. Aerial Ace won't take me out. And we'll go for another Flamethrower. We're gonna have to go heal up. And I'm gonna lead off with Hot Trot instead of Zabuza? Well, I guess there's only one fairy dragon type, to my knowledge, at least. I'm gonna run back out, go heal real quick. I do know that we're getting incredibly close to the end of this demo, because this is demo 5, and demo 5 goes up to 6 gyms. This is not the 6th gym. This is an uh, unofficial intermediate gym. And, uh, the sixth gym is in the next town, which is, uh, um, what is it called? No, that's Sailport. This, this one. Uh, Green Pine. I wanted to say something with Vine. It rhymed, you know. I want to talk to this guy. How many Ultra Balls do we have? Plenty. How many Super Potions do we have? Not as many as I would like. Let's buy some more super potions. How many half potions have we got? <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, that snuck up on me. Let's buy a few of those. We don't quite need hyper potions. Uh, revives. Might be pretty nice. So I'll buy like five of those. We got full heals. Heck yeah. Let's go for 10, just to make it nice numbers, otherwise I might go crazy. Alright, so we got we got medication. We're doing pretty solid on that. So we're gonna run our happy butts right back up here. With our tiny stubby legs in the overworld. And we're gonna go to this door. What's behind door number two? An old gentleman. Who has trained dragon types his whole life. Fantastic. At least you know at least you know what you want. Blaze go. So I'm gonna assume that's fire. Because it's got Blaze in the name. It wasn't super effective. But it did a lot of damage. I'm gonna assume it's fire, but it's also dragon type, so it resists everything in the world. Ah Melian. Um, a motorcycle outside my house. Damn nice weather. 
think... Yeah, this is the Grass Dragon. I remember seeing these a long time ago. And thought they were the coolest fucking things. We've been doing this Let's Play for a long time. And then life hits real hard. Over and over again. And then unexpected things happen. And then I get a new computer. And this and that. And blah blah blah. And here we are. We're approaching the end though. Didn't see what that said, but I'm gonna stay in. Oh, I think that's the water type. So I'm gonna want to get out of there. I'm gonna go to Korra. I think that's the water type. It looks like horsey. Yeah, muddy water. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Let's use Electro Ball. Alright, Dragon Pulse. Also did a lot of damage, but we are faster, so we'll be able to take it out with Electro Ball. Korra putting in the work after being on the sidelines for so long. Alright, we beat the gentleman. So now we're gonna go in our bag and find our we're gonna we're gonna use up these these one-offs we got. Go ahead and use that soda pop. Eliminate is 80 points. Anybody need that much? No. So we'll go back up to super potions. Super potion up. Zabuza and super potion up Korra. And we'll be solid to move on. I'm gonna assume there's more doors up here. Oh, there's just one big door. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Oh, Mega Evolution, I forgot all about that. Oh, hello. Ah, you're the trainer with the Mega Stone, aren't you? I battled one a few minutes ago. He also had a Mega Stone. I think his name was Robbie. Rodney? You made it here before me? How? I mean, I love you and all, but how? I'm better than you. It's probably because I took so much time, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's right. Shots at myself. <sighs> ah, you're right. His name was Rodney. He was a tough opponent. He managed to defeat me. My brother hasn't come back yet. I think he's still training, but I don't think he will... I don't think it'll be enough. <laughs> So you want me to teach you how to use the Mega Stone Professor Pinewood gave you? Alright, I'll tell you, but you have to battle me first. You should know I was trained by Rex to be his Castellian for his castle. Castellan? Castell Castellian? However you want to say it. Which means I'm really strong. If you manage to beat me, I'll give you something you need in order to use your Mega Stone. Okay, let's start a battle. I will show you the strength of Dragon-type Pokemon. Well... Looks like we get a choice, and I'm going to have to go with, uh, we're going to lead with Hot to Trot, and then Zabza, and then, I really want to bring Pank, but I also want, I'm going to bring Korra in. This might go bad for us. I don't know. She has three Pokemon as well. Damn. Somebody's got some sick base out there. But I just had to lead off with uh, my fire type, didn't I? Level 48! I think I'm about to get pooped on, guys. I think I'm about to get pooped on. Good thing I brought them with a Oh my god. Oh boy. Good thing I bought them revives, huh? Damn! Should've brought Pank. Pank has the life orb. Shit. Stop it. Stop it. Brick Break, break holy shit, Brick Break did some nice damage. What a, oh, you went for Hyper Potion this turn. Not cool. Not cool. I'm not worried though. We got, we got Aqua Ring up. A little bit of passive healing. We'll go for Brick Break. We can survive this Dragon Pulse unless it gets a crit. Awesome, that did about 50%, which is awesome. I'm going to use a Hyper Potion. Bam. Hyper Potion was used. Dragon Pulse. 
We can take another one of those for sure, especially after the Aqua Ring, which is awesome. Which means I can go for Brick Break again, and it should kill. It should kill. Hmm. Hmm. Experience gains. Well, Boo doesn't get any experience here. I will have to switch. Because I know for a fact that is definitely the fairy one. There are kids screaming outside. And it sounds like they're dying. It is ridiculous. Welcome to the neighborhood, guys. Let's see how much this Dragon Pulse does. Too much. Damn. I wish those kids would shut up. Dang. Let's go for the flamethrower. Hopefully get the burn or something. Give me the burn. Fuck. How much is play rough gonna do? Not a lot. But a Dragon Pulse will kill from that range. So we're gonna have to Hyper Potion up. I have to play very passively now, because they're way higher level than I am. See, that Dragon Pulse would have taken us out. That Dragon Pulse did one point less than it did last time. But I can hit you with Bulldoze. And she did, yeah. Yeah, your speed fell. It doesn't matter. Now we gotta heal. Because anything you hit me with is gonna kill me. Good thing we bought Hyper Potions, right guys? Right? Right? At least it's a little bit of a challenge now. I like it. See how much this one does? Did the original amount, the one extra point. Bulldoze, lower your speed again, doesn't really matter. And then I can kill you with anything. I'm gonna attack because she might just heal up. Yep. So I can get in a turn of Bulldoze here. And then heal next turn. Ooh, we got a crit on that one. So we outspeed. We can go for Bulldoze and kill. Alright. That saves us a turn. She has one Pokemon left. And that sounds like an Ice type. I'm gonna stay in. Cryo. It looks like a dolphin. It's adorable. Hyper Potion. This thing can probably hit me pretty hard. And it fucking Mega Evolved. Holy shit. This might hurt. That did hurt. Did we outspeed, though? No, we do not. Oh, boy. We are in for an adventure. Right, at least that was his full health and water type. And fighting type, in fact. But I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna max revive, actually. I'm gonna max revive Hot to Trot, because Hot to Trot can hit it pretty hard. Compared to Korra, who's five levels lower. So the Roar Beam should not do shit to me. Zabuza was a great choice to bring in here. And I have Brick Break, which is gonna do pretty decent damage. Should do pretty decent damage. Damn. Damn! Holy shit! <laughs> Remember what I said to do pretty decent damage? It did a lot of fucking damage. I did not expect that. It was a mega evolved ice dragon type. I did not expect it to take that that well. And we have defeated Lizzie. What a battle, you're full of energy. God damn right. Oh wow, you're really a talented trainer. I never thought I would be defeated by two young trainers in a row. I believe you are strong enough to handle Mega Evolutions. Here, take this. We got a Mega Ring. This is a Mega Ring. It contains a Keystone. The Keystone is a stone that acts as the medium between Pokemon Trainer and one of his Pokemon. What about her Pokemon? You assuming genders now, Lizzie? What the hell? You are a girl. You should have said her, because you are a girl. But I'm a guy, so I see why you said his, but you should have said his or her. It's 2017. Come on, get with the times. <sighs> Sick memes, bro. If your Pokemon is holding a Mega Stone and you activate the Keystone, they react to your Pokemon and they react, and your Pokemon is able to Mega Evolve. Some of the Pokemon in this region are able to Mega Evolve, like my Cryodra. 
I hope this will help you in your journey. Be careful. I gave Rodney a mega ring too. And he took another girl. He took another for a girl named Kiera. I think he has a crush on her. <laughs> if Rick can beat me, I will give him one too. So your friends will all be really strong. I wouldn't call him my friend, Lizzie. I really would not. I'd call him anything but my fr I'd call him anything bad. I mean, he's a he's a, he's probably a really decent kid under underneath the, the tough exterior, but he has pissed me off one too many times. He has a big mouth, he's a hot head. He thinks he's hot shit, but he's not. Only one person in this game has pissed me off more than Rick. It's that little girl at the volcano. Fuck that little girl. She hurt my feelings. If you want to battle me again, I'll be here in Rassic Castle. Bye. So can I just battle you again? It oodles and oodles of experience from you? Because that'd be pretty fucking neat. Because your Pokemon were level 48. Which means the next town's going to be wild as fuck. Oh, Zack. There you are. I heard you were battling Lizzie in the castle. Ah, that's a Mega Ring, so you won the battle. Congratulations! We're working hard to understand the Balance Crystal and determine if it can help us stop those Team Solar and Lunar guys. Don't you worry. There's a reason I wanted to speak with you. You're a magnificent Pokemon trainer, so you won the battle against the Solar Commander Glory with ease. And now you've defeated Lizzie, too. So I have a gift for you. It will help you in your battle against Team Solar and Lunar, too. As you know, I'm a Dragon-type specialist, so I would like to give you a rare Dragon Egg. You can choose between five eggs, but choose carefully. Each egg contains a Pokemon with a different second type. So choose carefully. So, I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume this is grass, fire, water... I don't know what this one's gonna be, but I'm assuming this is the fairy one. Okay. So I gotta go make room in my party real quick, and I'm gonna take the purple egg. Not just because purple is my favorite color, but because I believe that's going to be the... First off, let's heal. I believe that's going to be the fairy-type dragon, which is the one I would like. Because that one was fucking amazing looking. Boot up the PC. Someone's PC. Move Pokemon around. Hamtaro out real quick. Let me check on something. Alright, Blaze. I might have call it Blaze. Uh, Hot to Trot is not holding the Megastone yet, so I'm gonna have to remember to do that. Oh, excuse me, I hiccuped. It's Easter. Hey, I, I had a little bit too much food. Let's take the purple egg. Splendid, I think that one is perfect for you. You calling me a fairy? No, I just want to beat your ass. Okay, now I have to find Rodney and give him an egg as well. Good luck, Zack. Ha-ha. <laughs> Kira doesn't get one. She didn't do the battle. Ha-ha. <laughs> Sucker. Alright, let's put this Pokemon egg in the PC. If I want to do something with it, I will do something with it. But for right now, I'm going to put Hamtaro back in because I don't know if I'm going to need Hamtaro or not. Bam. Look at that badass egg. Put it right next to the badass blue egg that I got from Misty. Looky cutie. Alright. So. Oh. I remembered. Fleero Knight. Give to Fleero. I would love to switch them. Alright. So. Pokemon. Switch. S switch. Alright. Hot to Trot is now in front. I'm definitely not going to take on the next gym in this episode, and I think what we have to do now is go back to sailing, not sailing museum, <laughs> sailport sit town, not city town, and not there. That's where we came from. And can we? F can you get out of my way? And we can go this way now. Alright, progression! I gotta check this garbage can. Empty. Dang. What up? Oh shit, you wanna battle? It's on. Fisherman Clancy, what do you got? Pool dog. 
only I didn't put my fire type out. We'll make it evolve in a second. I'm not worried about it right now. I don't want to die. Water absorb, sucker! You weren't ready. You weren't ready. Oh, sh put up Aqua Ring, do you? Brick break. Sun. Oh, you lived. You joik. Fling? Who's to say what you flinging at me? Brick break, sucker! It's really hot in my room. Fun fact. Once I open that window, it's gonna be pretty decent in here. But if I open that window, you're gonna hear. About to send it. What? If I open that window, you're gonna hear everything I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Should have went out to Korra, actually. I ain't playing around a flying type with my my fighting type. Probably not the best idea. This aerial ace should do really good damage. Didn't do near as good as I thought it was gonna, but it did pretty decent. Wow. Crit hit me with sky drop. How rude. I should live this waterfall, so. Of course I flinched. Aha, now I'm faster than you. I forgot about Tailwind. Let it peter out, I don't care. Uh, uh. I get to go back to work tomorrow. I've been on vacation for a week. And I, I'm not excited to go back, but... I'm also very excited to go back. Because... Not doing anything, really. Just... I, I can't do it. It gets very bothersome. Of course you dove. Of course you dove. I don't know, it just makes me feel lazy. I ain't about it. But I did want a week off. Because it sounded great. Oh, you used light screen too. You are just an asshole, you know that? And you went for fucking dive again. But this next Electro Ball should kill you. As long as this dive doesn't kill me. Fantastic. Are you serious? Are... Why is nobody holding leftovers? These questions, they must be answered. Are... You serious? Shit. Well, at least I got an extra turn to heal up, because I healed up the wrong Pokemon. I'm gonna use a super potion. And you'll live with 27 health. Oh, you did more damage that time. Fancy that. Let's go ahead and use another super potion. Did you use dive again? You did, because you're a twat. Electro ball, because we should live this dive. And this will kill ya. Eat my ass. Alright, screw you, Clancy. Screw you. Oh, hello. Did you see that Pokemon just now? That was Healthia. It's a legendary Pokemon. Healthia is known as the growth Pokemon. It has the ability to grow plant life in desolate places with a single touch. That's why those flowers appeared there, actually. All of these flowers are made by Healthia. This place is said to be where it lives. Isn't that wonderful? I wonder if you'll ever get the chance to see it again. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it I thought it, maybe it left something in that little little space between the flowers. Alright, let's battle. You look like you use 
Yeah, you're a gardener. You look like you definitely use... Oh, it's adorable. But, you're about to catch this. Oh, that is badass. That's badass. Oh, you caught all of that, Nias. I am sorry. Uh. Nah. Why would I switch out? I want one of those. That thing is cool. Catch it. Mega evolution. Mm, destroyed. Uh. Who's catching the levels now? No flower power for me. It's because I got boom, boom, fire power. That's right. I made that reference. This is a very pretty route, though. P pretty route, though. Pretty route, though. I'll, I'll give you that. <clears throat> but, I think with that, we're gonna call it an episode. And I think in between this episode and the next episode, I'm gonna train a few levels in this route on Fleero, on Zabuza, Pank, Boo. Korra, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty much only gonna need Fleero and Pank because the next gym is, in fact, grass type, as far as I know. It's called Green Pine City, so, like, why wouldn't it be? But before we end off, I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center in Sailport because why? Why wouldn't I do that? It'd be rude not to. I hate trying to get around the city. God damn it, get out of my way, kid. I'm gonna say, is there not a Pokemon Center here? This place is bigger than I remembered. All right, get the heal on. And then in between this one and the next one, we'll get the train on. Probably get up to level 48, 49 with at least Fleero and Pank, because they're the ones I'm definitely gonna need. For sure, for sure, for sure. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did recording it for you guys. Don't forget to check the description down below for links to my Twitter and my Variety channel. And as well down there, you find a playlist link for Solar Light and Lunar Dark on this channel. So you can check out every episode from the past. You may have missed some, or you may want to rewatch the whole thing, you know, because it's awesome. You can find all of that in the description. And those links are always there, always for your convenience. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share as well. Ring that notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every single time that I upload a video so you don't miss any content in the future. It's the best thing for you and for me. I would only do any of that if you would and could and you really want to because it would be much appreciated. And until next time, guys, I'll see you.